صحيح الإمام بخاري رحمه الله محمد بن إسماعيل uh, البخاري he has compiled uh, the book الجامع الصحيح I tell you not only him but several other muhaddithin they started off with a hadith of the intention because intentions really by far the most important thing within the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the intention the intention so Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu narrates the hadith and he says he heard the Prophet sallam while he was on the member uh, saying innama al-a'malu bin niyati innama al-a'malu bin niyati and in one narration bin niyati uh, definitely all actions will be judged by their underlying intentions uh, there are several ways you know English language does not qualify to translate Arabic just like Urdu sometimes you have one word try to say it in English uh, you can't you know you have to say it in Urdu so just like that in Arabic Arabic is a rich tongue so English is very new compared to Arabic Arabic is much older one of the ways of translating it is to say indeed all actions are judged by their underlying intentions you do something that appears good and with a bad intention you will not get a reward for it you do something that might appear to be not so good but you know your intention in that particular case uh, it will be good i i don't have the time to go into examples but there are so many examples mashallah tabarakallah of how you can be doing things and they are good things but you are not getting rewarded for it because of your intention and vice versa you are doing things it cannot be that you do a bad thing and you get a reward for it but you do something that appears to be bad maybe that one i can give you a quick example say a, a person's child is in the nightclub and uh, he goes to try and take the child out as he's walking in people say hey, kya ho hai? Kaha ja hai? they take a video and say it's on snapchat astaghfirullah you know shabir bhai look at what he's done you know he's gone into the club right but they don't know he went in to take his son out right it's like uh, the, the the issue of uh, one man who came and said you know these weddings they are so bad i went to one wedding the bri the groom came in a helicopter and the bride was almost naked she came in an open bentley you know one of those convertible bentleys and they had a smoke screen and the women were all semi naked and there was heavy music and it was free for all. They were serving alcohol in the corner for people who want to drink. Astaghfirullah, Muslim wedding. So one brother told him, what were you doing there? Right? If he's so bad, what were you doing there? Now, nowadays, people got an answer. He says, well, if I didn't go there, who would have told you what was there? So I had to go to find out so that I could come back and let you guys know. You see, that's how foolish people become. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness. But to be very honest with you, if, if a person really is doing something that appears to be bad, but it's, he's not doing a bad thing, right? That's when we would say that a niya counted. And I gave you the example of someone going to get their child out, you know, uh, of uh, going to get their child out of a club, for example, just to save them from something. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. So the same applies. The Prophet ﷺ says, uh, and indeed for every person is that which they have intended in terms of reward in terms of reward and in terms of being judged a person by Allah will be judged by the intention humankind might judge you by anything else but by Allah judged by intentions what was your intention this was the intention the Prophet ﷺ says فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَىٰ دُنْيَا يُصِيبُهَا فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ فَهِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ At the time of the Prophet ﷺ, there was a hijrah. People did hijrah for the sake of Allah. And some people did it with another intention. It's an example. There is a whole lengthy explanation, inshallah, the ulama will explain to you in detail. And the Prophet ﷺ says, وَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَىٰ دُنْيَا يُصِيبُهَا أَوْ إِمْرَأَةٍ يَنْكِحُهَا أَوْ يَتَزَوَّجُهَا فَهِجْرَتُهُ إِلَىٰ مَا هَجَرَ إِلَيْهِ Whoever is making a hijrah for another reason, perhaps he wants to marry a woman, so he's making hijrah, hey, it's a good opportunity, I can go to Mecca. You know, it's like how they say, it's a good opportunity, I'll, I'll, I'll go and one time I'll also get married, subhanAllah. So Allah says, well, it's your intention that counts.
what did you go for? And if you went for a business deal, some people say, let's go out. Where? To that masjid, in that locality. But the intention is to go out for business. There's a man there, you want to do a quick business deal with him. So Allah says, you, 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 we will look at what you were intending. Subhanallah. What were you intending? Keep your intentions pure. Keep your intentions pure. Hayya ala al-falaa